Optimize Media Marketing. And this is my co-host Alicia, a rep from World Venture Drill Trips. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Eugene's Best. Best. TV. Today we have the honor of interviewing Matt McCarl with New Leaf Hyperbarics. Where we help you heal, build, and thrive with O2 for you. Hi Matt. So uh, could you please uh, share our viewers what inspired you to start or open New Leaf Hyperbarics here in Eugene? It's a great question, Jocelyn. So a few years ago, I was going through a major life change. My doctor had put me on an aspirin when I was 39, and I mm -hmm. needed to find a way to be more healthier. And through that adventure, I was up in Washington learning how to eat better and take better care of myself from some folks up there. And they had some local vendors there, and one of the local vendors was New Leaf Hyperbarics Tacoma. And they were showing how Hyperbarics was helping all these people in and around Tacoma, and I was just like, this is amazing. It really needs to be in Eugene. Mm -hmm. And so I came home, and that was like right around Thanksgiving. So I let the holidays pass, called up the owner, and we started talking. And after a couple of months, uh, one thing led to another, and we decided that they're going to franchise, and I'm going to help them do that. So here we are. We're almost a year in and uh, doing amazing things here in Eugene. Wow. Um, Matt, uh, to follow up with that, uh, what would you say are the benefits for doing hypobaric treatments? There are several benefits uh, to doing it, but we'll just keep the list kind of short. <laughs> you, um, extra oxygen, mm -hmm. um, one of the first foremost things is oxygen is a natural anti-inflammatory and a natural detoxifier. So an hour in our chamber is like taking 40 Motrin without killing your kidneys or wow. anything else yeah, in yourself by taking said 40 Motrin. <laughs> so inflammation yeah. relief, um, and you can get better mental clarity. 98% mm -hmm. of my clients come back, I would say, on, on their follow-up treatment and tell me what a great night's sleep they got after their first treatment. Um, so, And just um, sports recovery for sports athletes, the recovery time after the event or during tr heavy training oh, is really good yeah. for them too. So. So it'd be good for someone who also does a lot of um, physical training at the gym and stuff sometimes and maybe had absolutely. a little bit too harsh of a workout and too hard on the quads or... Absolutely. <laughs> you feeling that today yourself? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, I sure am. Yeah. Um, and then uh, who, what does this help with like for the individual, uh, maybe somebody who's watching and might be interested in like looking into this? So it really helps with over 80 different conditions. Um, I usually say everything from Alzheimer's and ADD to post-strokes and wound healing, but if we want to be a little specific, yes, Alzheimer's, autism, ADD, ADHD, um, fibromyalgia, TBIs, which is traumatic brain injuries, um, okay. anti-aging, because it helps produce collagen, um, helps produce stem cells. Wow. So if somebody that's going in for a surgery may want to come in and get a treatment or two to help boost their stem cell production prior to surgery to help speed the healing afterwards and then definitely okay. come in afterwards also to help speed the healing so we can help wounds heal like in half the time it would normally take them to heal so that's people can get back to their normal way of life. That's really good. Yeah. Um, what about for somebody who might have like a an injury tor like a breakage or something inside of them? Like oh yeah it's really good for um, bone healing or a, like torn tendons it can help those things spontaneously start healing quicker and just all kinds of Oxygen does so much stuff. A lot of the doctors I've spoken with is like, you know, oxygen's never, oxygen's never really killed anybody. <laughs> so, um, and you know, if you can boost it, because you know, a lot of us spend time in buildings like this, and the air quality outside sucks. And buildings aren't, you know, they're not 21% oxygen. So we're all a little oxygen deprived, if you will. Mm -hmm. Right. So we could all use a little boost now and again. Right. I gotcha. Yeah. That's good. So is there any medical research that can back up that? Oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. been lots of studies done for the hyperbaric stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually been around for a few centuries, hyperbarics wow. has, mm -hmm. um, since like in the 1600s actually. Mm -hmm. So, um, How do and they treat there's it? hospitals that have used them for years. How did they treat it like back in the day, exactly? Um, how did they make a hyperbaric chamber back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a really yeah. interesting <laughs> yeah. story that, you know, we could really get into. There's a couple different versions, but they use like pumps and, you know, like those billow pumps and stuff like that. It was neat little drawings. Mm -hmm. and 
stuff that you could actually, if you just do a little research about that. Mm -hmm. so, okay, cool. So is it FDA approved? Yes, actually the, the equipment we use right here, this this is the Viteris 320. It's made mm -hmm. by OxyHealth right here in the USA. And it is a medically approved, a medically FDA approved device for medical use. And actually mm -hmm. folks can use them in their homes. Mm -hmm. So we rent and sell them as well for folks that need to use them that may have, like, say you had a stroke and it was oh, difficult okay. for you to get in the car. Mm -hmm. Right. And to carry, you know, and all that stuff that has to go about but because you have the stroke. Right. If it's in your home, it's really easy for the caregiver to just put you in and out of the chamber at home. And we go over and spend a few hours with those folks showing mm -hmm. them how to use it and everything, too. Mm -hmm. So That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So can you demonstrate how you put your patients inside? Would you like to volunteer for that? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's do it. All right, Jocelyn, you ready? Yep. All right. So, first of all, we're going to start with you picked a, the cannula, which is the nose hose, as some folks like to say. So, that just okay. goes right in your nose. Okay. Normally, there would be oxygen coming out of here, mm -hmm. but for demo purposes, we're keeping all the equipment off so that it does, so you guys can hear us. Mm -hmm. So, that goes on just like that. And then there's two ways to get in. Mm -hmm. Normally, you would sit, turn, and crawl in, or you can dive in, as we mm -hmm. like to say. So, while you're in chamber, I'm going to be right here as we pressurize. Your ears are going to pop a little bit like landing in an airplane. Okay. So normally, like I said, the equipment's on, so it's a little loud out here. Mm -hmm. So you, we have hand signals that we use that she's already learned. Mm -hmm. okay. After that, if she needs us for any reason, there's this nice button that hangs right inside. Okay. Right here. Quick question, Matt. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Is it loud inside? No, it's more like a white noise inside. It's oh. very, very... Um, um, wow, very, you can actually sleep in there, kind of, at mm -hmm. times. What was that, Jocelyn? Uh, it's good. It's very roomy. Do you feel like it's, so you don't think it feels like it's crowded? I'm... No, I can sleep. You can sleep? Yeah. So you just zip up both the zippers. It almost looks like two people could fit in there. Yes, we actually do what we call buddy diving from time to time, where uh, couples <laughs> will come in, friends that um, want to do it together, husband and wives, and they'll, they'll go in together. Me and my 20-year-old daughter will go in here from time to time and do it together. So Father this is what... bonding? It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we uh, we take some cards, play a little cribbage, and that type of stuff. Because um, it does get bigger. When it inflates, it's seven and a half feet long and 33 and a half inches across, top oh, to bottom, okay. side to side. So, gotcha. yeah, it actually does get a lot bigger. So that's what it that's what it looks like when you get in there. And then we can talk back and forth through the little, through the little opening right there. There's Jocelyn. So... And then when we're all done depressurized, we just unzip it, both zippers, and folks get to come out. It's actually a little trickier coming out than going in. And so there, that's hey. it. So then at this point, she would be able to use the restroom again, mm -hmm. and we would start her on her water regiment of... 32 to 64 ounces because, like I mentioned earlier, it is a detoxification because oxygen is a natural detoxifier. So we're detoxifying you at a cellular level, actually. Wow, I can actually sleep in there even without the oxygen. I love it. <laughs> I've been there a couple of times, actually. It feels, yeah, it's comfortable. It's mm -hmm. a nice memory foam mattress that goes inside. So. Okay. Um, how much is it for your first visit? So, introductory visits are only $39, okay. and you can call 541-636-3278 and make an appointment. What's the website? And our website is newleafhyperbarics.com. Okay. All right, that's wonderful. So, when you need an extra oxygen, you go to New Leaf Hyperbarics, Hyperbarics where you get your O-U for you. See you there.